In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to properly remove the bolts from your uh, 9mm Gatling gun. Some of the tools required to do this, you're going to have a um, 5.32nd Allen wrench. You're also going to have a 7.32nd Allen wrench. And um, we're going to start with uh, just checking the Gatling gun to make sure that it's empty. You're going to come in here and unthread your lid screw. I'm going to just go ahead and remove the lid completely and we're going to set that off to the side here. And then from here, you can visually check each chamber. And I always start by um, turning the Gatling gun in reverse and then visually inspecting each chamber to ensure that there's no ammo in the gun. Once you've visually checked all the chambers to make sure that they're clear, uh, we can then get into the Gatling gun and start to remove the bolts. We're first gonna start off by removing the end cap. And you have three bolts uh, that you're gonna have to remove here. And you're gonna see me kind of moving around quite a bit here just to kind of get around the Gatling gun. Now I left the Gatling gun on the turret base. Um, you can do it on the turret base. I find it a little bit easier that way. Um, so we'll remove that end cap, set that off to the side here. And if you look at the back side of your Gatling gun, you're gonna see that you have your main gear and then your, um, your smaller gear for the crank handle. And you're gonna have this bolt that you're gonna to wanna to remove, okay? That's where our 532nd uh, Allen wrench comes in. We're gonna go ahead and remove that bolt now. And it is fairly tight from the factory. Um, we don't lock tight it or anything, we just make sure it's nice and snug. We'll set that off to the side. From there, you can pull your crank handle so we'll pull our crank handle now and then with our free hand we're holding on to that smaller gear and then you can set that smaller gear off to the side from there um, <clears throat> we have a 7 16 wrench and you're going to use the open end of your wrench to gain access to our bolt that holds that gear in and you can kind of see that bolt right in there it's really simple. All you're going to do is take that 7 16 wrench and you're going to loosen that bolt up. And that gear typically will fall back in when you loosen it, just like so. And then you can just go in there with your hand and pull, pull the main gear directly out. And then you'll see we we dropped our key in there too. There's actually a key that fits in that little slot. And then from there you have access to this uh, back plate and there's a plug right in the back side there. You're gonna stick your Allen wrench in there. Now if you have an early version, it'll be slotted for a screwdriver. Um, so we actually converted it over and went to these uh, Allen wrench style. And it, it's a lot easier to remove that way. So once we have that back plate plug removed, you can set that off to the side and I'll kind of rotate the gun a little bit so you can see the bolts inside there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna manually rotate the barrel assembly until you get the bolt lined up. And then you can take something, some kind of tool, a wooden dowel rod, an Allen wrench like this, and you can push on the front face of the bolt and you'll be able to push that completely out of the back side like so. So it's gonna come directly out of the back side of that hole. And then like I said, you're gonna manually rotate your barrel assembly until you get each bolt lined up and then you can remove them one at a time.
last bolt here. All right, that's our last bolt. Um, the reason you would ever take your bolts out, um, you could take them out to potentially clean the barrels um, or clean the bolt or clean the carrier. That's really the only time that you would ever want to take your bolts out of the Gatling gun. Um, other than that, you really don't ever have to remove them. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the easiest way to remove the bolts from the nine millimeter Gatling gun. Uh, in the next video, we'll show you how to reinstall the bolts. And then we'll also show you in another video how to uh, set your head spacing uh, to ensure that your 9mm Gatling gun is going to go off every time you crank the handle. Nice.